The native WordPress menu is actually a very good thing. The advantage is that it allows you to build navigations that the client can manage easily and they can move things around without going into the builder to, you know, mess with things. And uh, it's, it's as easy as this where you have just drag and drop and you could just place things where they belong. Yeah, even though I believe they should improve on some things, but uh, you get the point. But the problem with this is sometimes you find a very good navigation system that you love so much that it is not compatible with the native WordPress menu. And in a lot of cases, the way these navigations are built would not even work with the native because of the feature set that it has. So in that case, what do you do? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to build a dynamic navigation that you do not need to use the WordPress navigation, a dynamic navigation that allows the client to configure the navigation just by adding labels to the pages. So they never have any need to go into the builder to touch things. Now there are several pages on this website, but I do not want all these pages to belong in the navigation. Now this is my navigation and if I preview it on the front end, this is how it looks. Uh, nothing is here yet. These are just sample data. So what I've done is I have cars and other cars. You have BMW, Honda, Mercedes, and Toyota. And I have all that items, but I don't want all of them to be there. I also have uh, consoles, Nintendo under consoles, play, play, uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Then I have phones and the phones have two levels. We have the Android under the phones and under the Android, we have LG, Oppo and Samsung. And if we go to the next, we can see phones also with iOS It's still the same page. And then we have other iPhone 15, 16 and 17 on the iPhones. And we want to translate that into this. We want to use it in such a way that we can have drop downs, for example, the phone, then the Android and the iOS are sub pages. Or we could also use them in the slide button where you can slide in. You have a panel here where you have another slide that leads to Android and another slide that leads to the iOS. We're going to do that in a way that is going to distinguish the menu items that are parent items and the ones that are just single top level items. I did mention that the way to do this will be to add labels to the pages to determine which pages are going to be in the navigation and which one has children items. To do that, we're going to use the WordPress tag. So we're going to use tags to tag the pages to determine which one should be what. And to do that, we need tags, but by default, WordPress does not allow you to add tags to pages. It doesn't give the provision for that. And we are going to go ahead and install a simple plugin that is going to allow us to do that. And that plugin is called pages with categories and tags and install and activate it. Once that is activated, we can see that we now have the ability to add categories and tags to our pages. So I'm going to go ahead and create a tag called menu item. And I'm going to add that tag. I'm going to create another one called has child. And then I'm going to save that. Now, these are the only two things we need for these tutorials. Now, this could open a door of opportunities for you to create several tags, depending on how you want to filter your navigation items but for now we want to use just this too and when we finish using this too you're going to understand how you can use even all that kind of tags to you know filter your items and so and this is very easy because we can actually see which pages we have assigned those tags to now there are two ways you could do this we could add them only to the top level items and granted that all the sub level are going to be in the navigation the rule here is if I want to add a top level item to the navigation, then the children definitely should also be in the navigation. So I'm going to go ahead and add the tags and we'll move along. So what I've done here is I added many items to all top levels. Okay. And then I didn't bother to add um, menu items to the sub level because they are, I'm going to want all sub levels to show, but if I did not want all sub level to show, then I would add menu items to filter only the ones that I want to show. Now this is the initial setup. I'm also going to go ahead and add um, menu items to other things that don't have child. So I'm just going to add menu items to that. Now we're done with that. So I'm going to go into the builder and I'm going to refresh this so we can pick up the new settings. 
and now we're going to start building now the sidebar navigation has three major items we have the regular link we have a slide button and we have the drop down and we also have the slide panel so these are the three things that we're going to take into consideration the first thing we want to deal with is the regular link so this one is called li link li link just means that this is a list item that has a link an li slide button means this is a list item that has a slide button an li drop down means this is a list item that has a drop down toggle and a drop down content so we need just one li link because we want to loop so i'm going to select this delete one and then i'm going to enable query loop we're going to go here and because we want to loop our pages the post type will be page and we want to include only the tags that are menu items and we want to exclude now it is going to show all of them so let's um let's let's open this i'm going to just change this to post title so the name will show post title all right so it's showing all the menu items that I tagged as menu items, which were the top level, but I don't want it to show all the top levels. I want to show only the ones because these are single, this is individual link. This is a simple link. We don't want to show links that has children because we want to preserve those ones for drop down or slide button. So what we're doing here is that we're going to uh, edit that query loop settings and we're going to exclude has child we don't want any of the has child. So I'm gonna save this. And um, if we preview it on the front end, you're gonna see that the three simple links are just pages that don't have children. If you wanna check out the sidebar navigation for Bricks Builder, I will put a link in the description. So go ahead and check it out. This is the number one best-selling sidebar navigation builder for Bricks with a lot of features. It has the collapsible features. It has the off canvas features. It has the pay URL configuration where you can set one url to be uh, off canvas you can set the next to be collapsible you can set the next to be off um, maybe a regular sidebar so go ahead and check it out check out the link in the description and also in the first comment now we're going to go on to the pages that have children first of all i want to deal with this drop down let's deal with the drop down first so i'm going to select this drop down and we're going to create a loop but before we create that loop i'm going to go inside the content and I'm going to delete this too because everything will be based on loops, okay? So we need one li link here and we need just one of this. So for this one, it is a parent. So we're gonna just go post type page and we don't want any item that has a parent to show up here. We want only the top level. So on that child of, we're going to put zero, meaning we do not want any child of any navigation to show up there. And we're going to select term to include menu item. And we want only the menu items that have children also. So those two. All right. And let's just change this to dynamic data from drop down to post ID post title i mean it is showing that the sidebar nav three and two are showing but we have already decided so okay the reason that is showing because they are also among so we're going to remove this and we're saying only the ones that has children should show and inside there we're going to select this and we want to show the, the children so i'm going to select the link inside the drop down and i'm going to also enable query loop and post type page now we want the child of post id to show so only children of the respective post id so the child or under cars will show under cars the children of phones will show under phones and i'm going to change that static text to post title all right so i'm going to save that so let's look at the front end so we see under phones, we see Android and iOS, and they are simple links, but they are supposed to have children of their own. So how do we deal with that? But these are okay. These are okay. 
that we have not yet dealt with the slide button. We need to deal with this situation where we have the Android and the iOS and they're supposed to be dropped down because they also have children. Now, so what I'm going to do is I want to come here and exclude anyone that has a child. I don't want to show it there. So I'm going to exclude has child. If we save it, now we no longer see the phones. Why? Because the sidebar navigation is designed in such a way that if a drop down does not have children, the top parent is hidden. So that is a CSS thing. Now, so what are we going to do? We need a drop down in this list because the phone and the iOS are parents. So I'm going to duplicate this and then I'm going to move that drop down. No, not the drop down content. I'm going to duplicate the whole of this, the drop down. Now I'm going to, because I want to nest drop down now. So I'm going to e expand the drop down content. I'm going to expand the list. Okay. And then I'm going to move that drop down that I duplicated into the list. Let's just place it at the bottom. We also want it to be child of post ID. So we're changing up that query and it also must have a child. So right now you can see that we have Android, iOS, it's like they're duplicated. So let's look at the front end and see what is going on. So we have phones and we have Android and we have this. Let's look at this. Sorry, not the slide button. So everything looks okay. So we have phones. On the phones, we have Android. On the Android, we have Samsung, Oppo. Now that works. Now the same way we did this, we will also do the same to this. So what if we did not want drop downs? What if we wanted um, slide buttons? So we're going to deal with the slide buttons. So let's do that. So for the slide button, we're going to have the exact same uh, query as the drop down. So let's look at it. So what we had here was uh, child of zero, then has child. That's it. So we're going to do the same thing. Apply it. Child of zero. Uh, post type page. And we're going to include has child. Let's change the static text. Changing static text helps you to know what is really going on because you see the title. All right. So we have cars, phones, and console. So right now we can see that uh, we have cars, but they are not linked. They're all linking to the same panel, right? Uh, so we're going to deal with that. So all the pages that have children are showing up here, just like they did in the drop down. Okay. Now the drop down typically links to a panel. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm also going to go to the panel. In this case, we need just one slide panels and we're going to apply exact same query to this. So I'm going to say that uh, post type page uh, child of zero and has child to include has child. Now let's um, change the name of the panel to dynamic data. So we can see we have phones, consoles, and uh, what else? The first one is not showing. Okay, that is usual, that is normal. Dynamic data behaves like that sometimes. Now, before we move along, we have to link the panel to the slide button. So the way we're gonna do that is this. The slide button, we're gonna select the button inside this, this LI, and we're gonna go to attributes. And for data attribute value, we wanna change it to post title. And we also gonna come to the slide panel and change the attribute to post title. So what is gonna happen is that any slide button whose attribute correspond to a particular panel would lead to that panel. So let's, let's save this and look at the front end. So cars lead to cars, phones lead to phones, you can see, and uh, consoles lead to consoles. Know that all these are dynamic, dynamically created. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is to populate with their children. So inside that panel, Lapse this. Uh, we're going to go to the UL and for the link, we're going to apply a query also. So, uh, and that is going to be post type page. Child of is going to be post ID. So, only children of that post ID. And that's basically all. Then we're going to change this static text. 
one of the things you should always remember, remember to do is to change the static text. Okay. Now I've changed those static text. I want to go ahead and delete the image here because we really don't need the image. So let's focus on the text. All right. So we under cars, we have BMW and all that. Under phones, we have Android. But the problem is we need to deal with this the same way because Android and iOS are supposed to be parent themselves. So they are supposed to be slide in buttons. We're going to come here to the panel, the link in the panel, and then we're going to exclude has child. So we don't want anyone that has a child to show up as a single link. Okay. So now that we have done that, see, we cannot see that iOS and Android again. So what do we do next? We need a slide in button inside this UL in the panel. So we're going to copy a slide in button the li so i'm going to right click and copy that and then i'm going to right click on this on ordered list and paste it and we're going to go there child of post id and it has to have a child let's look at the front end the back end is not a great place to judge all right cars cars look great phones yep we have what we wanted only the ones with uh you know what children are here and then console, only the ones uh, without children are showing up there. Good. So now let's deal with this to so make sure it connects to its respective panel. Now the problem here is in a slide panel, we did child of zero. And this is where we have a problem. Now because it's now querying all, only the top level panels. Okay, so we need to remove this. And so that we can have panels for, you know, for the sub level item. So I'm going to save this. So if we go here now, we can see that cars is working well. The phones now, if we click Android, Android will lead to Samsung, Oppo, and LG. Removing that child of zero allowed the panel for this Android, you know, to be created. iOS, we have this. So if you ever want to add something else, let's say you want to add, uh, let's say something to cars. Let's say you wanted to change Toyota to a, a multi-level. You don't need to come into the builder and do anything. All you need to do is to go into the pages and say, all right, where is Toyota? We want it to be multi-level. We want to add uh, something to Toyota. So we're going to create a page. All we need to do is to create a page. Then on that Toyota, we can say maybe Camry. So I can just create a new page called Camry and publish. Once I publish that page, I could uh, probably add another page. Oh, sorry. I didn't even assign it as a child, but let's continue. Um, maybe Corolla. That is spelling. Not sure. And then I'm going to add parents is going to be Toyota. Let's go back and add the Camry as a parent, uh, as uh, assign the parent to the Camry also. Okay. We're going to just quick edit. Uh, parents go Toyota. All right. Now, now what most step is we need to make sure that we assign has child to Toyota. So I'm going to say has child and that's it. So Toyota has child and we refresh. So we go to cars. We can now see Toyota is now a drop down because it has a child. And if we go into cars here, we can now see Toyota is a slide in, which shows that you don't need the, the, the client doesn't need to do anything extra. The query loop already automatically takes care of that, as you can see. So we have Toyota, you can see here, back to cars. Everything is named correctly. And to link the item, of course, if there are links, you know, you have to uh, use the dynamic data. So you can just go to the link and then go uh, link dynamic data uh, post link. And that's it. Gonna save that and we go to the front end, they are gonna be linked. So you can look at there, you can see it's linked to their respective, you know, yep. Toyota, Corolla, cars, all them linking. They link automatically. So that brings us to the end of the tutorial. What do you think about it? If you like this video, just hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel. And in future tutorials, we're gonna look at how to do this using maybe like product categories and see how we can deal with the sub levels until next time do have a great day